my name is Erin and today I want to share with you why we decided to homeschool with a certain curriculum. One of my main concerns being a high school math teacher before having kids was that I didn't want to set up lesson plans. I just didn't. There was no, there's going to be no time for that. And I, that thought overwhelmed me. So I wanted to find a curriculum where I felt confident and what my kid was going to be learning that I felt like it was going to be good long term and I could see the plan going forward. And that's one of the reasons that I love Classical Conversations. Classical Conversations has this program that was actually created from the top down. So the creator actually had her kids in high school and she said, okay, this is what I want my kids to learn in high school. What do they need to know prior to that to set them up for success? So this program now has been around for a really long time. They've had lots of kids be very successful in this program and go on to college. And so that gave me confidence. The other thing was that I loved that it had a community. I wanted a weekly group to check in with for my own accountability and for my kids and for myself to meet other families in the area that were homeschooling. So I love that aspect and I love that it is Christian based curriculum. And so for all of those reasons, we have fallen in love with Classical Conversations. And so today I wanna to share a little bit about Classical Conversations with you so you can see what it is. There are actually three main pillars to Classical Conversations. The first is the classical model of education. So let me explain that quickly. The classical model of education actually has three steps to it. The first is just learning the basic info. So for example, if you think of a car mechanic, just learning all of the parts of the car. The second stage is actually knowing that info and being able to apply it. So the car mechanic knowing all of the parts of the car and now being able to understand how those parts of the car work together. The third stage is then the output stage, is really understanding the workings of it and being able to explain it. So for a car mechanic, it would be knowing the parts of the car, you bringing your car in and the car mechanic being able to figure out what part isn't working, why it's not working, and then be able to explain to you what it is that the mechanic needs to do to fix the car. So those are the stages of classical learning. The second pillar of classical conversations is Christian, is the fact that Christ is at the center. The model of classical conversations is to know God and to make him known. So it has God in the center with all of the subjects surrounding God and us learning how God is in all of those subjects how all those subjects are interrelated and how our learning of those subjects can actually help us understand and know God better. The third pillar is actually the community, which again is great. It's we, There's a weekly community day. This is a chance for us to learn the new material for the week that's set up by the Classical Conversations curriculum. It is a chance for you to meet other kids, other moms, have a place to connect and to have life with other homeschooling families. So that is the, the basis of classical conversations, uh, the foundation and the pillars. But next I kind of want to tell you a little bit more of the parent stuff that you might want to know about classical conversations. So for example, let me start with the weekly community day. The weekly community day for the foundations class is from usually about nine to noon, depending on where you go throughout the country. And in that day, there are certain things that we do. The first is we study the new grammar, which I'll talk about in a minute. The second thing is there is a science, pro a science experiment. There is like an art project or music. We do presentations where the kids get up and share. Now for the younger kids, this is like show and tell, right? And as they get older though, they work on certain things like talking in a good voice, eye contact, speaking clearly, collecting their thoughts. And it's a great, great way for kids to be comfortable speaking in front of other people. Because unfortunately, I'm sure as an adult you may know, public speaking can be very scary for most people. And it's good to get them started young so that can help them in the future. And then, we also have review time of all the, the weekly material. So let me talk to you about the, the grammar and the curriculum. So this actually is the brand new curriculum book that just came out this year. I'm super excited. 
This is the foundations guide. Now foundations is for kids four years old through sixth grade. So what I'm gonna do is show you a page in the book so you can kind of see how it is laid out and you can maybe screenshot this. But these are, this is one week's material. So we have on here a timeline, history, science, English grammar, math, oh, and geography, sorry, and geography. So what's great about this is this is all the curriculum you need and it runs for 24 weeks. We usually do 12 weeks in the beginning of the year until Thanksgiving and we do the second 12 weeks after the holidays. And what's great about this is you review all this material in your weekly community day. Then you go home and as a parent you reinforce. And the best way to reinforce, <laughs> this is my favorite thing, is the app. They have an app with all of this information, which is like the best thing ever. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go to history here, and it'll actually say it to you, but I'm gonna skip that. Oops. So we don't have to hear all that. And what's great about this is it has this thing called history highlights at the top. If you click on that, It'll open up a brand new page, and it's probably hard for you to see it with the glare on the screen, which I'm sorry, but it has this history highlights where it gives you more information about that history sentence that you are currently studying, which is phenomenal for me. And so I want to explain how you make this work for young kids. For my four, five, six-year-old, we are just practicing the history sentence, and I just want them to be able to repeat it back to me. This is that initial stage where they're just learning the information. Now with my older daughter who's about to be nine, what we will do is we will go into these history highlights and we will actually read this together and talk about it and have a conversation to help deepen her understanding, okay? So what is great about the app is that all of the subjects are on the app. The science has what's called a science snippets. Oh, right there and again you pr it's probably hard for you to see it with the glare but again it gives you more information about the science topic that you're learning okay so what is also good is then I know what we're gonna be studying I can easily go to the library write down these subjects and talk to the librarian and say these are the subjects I need to cover can you help me find books to cover these subjects so I love using the app almost every day we use the app because the kids can do it. The kids like to go and pick their subject. They have certain weeks where they like the information and so we go over that week more readily. But the kids just love to use the app. I love to use the app. I can airplay it to my TV because we have Apple products. So the kids like to see it on the big screen in the, the living room. Sometimes we get out um, music, music instruments, sorry, music instruments because the kids then sing along. Here's the other nice thing. Classical Conversations has a website called um, CC Connected. And this is a place where you can get songs to go with this stuff. There are other moms who've created uh, worksheets or games, activities to go with all of this. So you can get on CC Connected and you can download any and all of that that you want. It is an amazing resource. So our kids like to take the music instruments and I play the app or I have a song list on my phone and we play the music in the car where we're driving or we will play it at home or they will sing it and dance around the house but it gets them active and involved in the material and it just helps with the learning process because they're engaging more of their senses the other thing that CC also has is these cards these are the timeline cards okay there's tons of them and they also have cards like this for the history sentences and for science. And they also have, again, more information on the back to give you all of the details about that history or timeline or science information so you can, again, learn more and explain more to your child. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the different levels. So I mentioned that this book right here is what's called the Foundations Guide. And this is for kids that are four years old through sixth grade. There are three cycles in the book. So here's what I mean by that. Cycle one covers a certain geography area, certain um, history. Cycle two then will cover another area of geography. 
it's usually, I think cycle one is like Asia, cycle two is more Europe, cycle three then is the United States. So they all cover different information, but then you repeat them. So when my four-year-old starts cycle one, we're basically just learning the information. She will repeat that cycle. You do cycle one, she'll do cycle two when she's five, cycle three when she's six. So then when she's seven, she's gonna go back and repeat cycle one. But now she's three years older. So now I'm going to be able to build upon the basic fact that she knows and then teach her more with that basic information. So that's what I really like about the classical model is that, again, stage one, basic information. Stage two, you're going to show her how that basic information connects with each other. And I find that extremely helpful and beneficial and it's helpful for me. I have learned so much. I either didn't learn it before or I just didn't retain it. But this has been extremely helpful for me and I think it's a good way for the kids to learn. The other nice thing with our community is we do a lot of field trips. So classical conversations you can find all over the country and in some cases I think all over the world. So make sure that you can go to the classical conversations website and you can search for a community in your area if you're not sure if there is one and then you can reach out to the director of that campus to get more information. Usually they have an open house that you can go to and you can see what the campus is like and you can go and view a community day and bring your kids to see if it's something that would fit your family. The other thing I highly recommend is the book called The Core by Leah Bortons and she is also the author of Classical Conversations. Um, but the book, if you search The Core in Amazon or in Google, it'll come up. But this book was very instrumental for helping me understand why I wanted to homeschool, why I wanted to do the classical model, and she also gave examples of how to implement different curriculum for your child. I hope this video gave you some information on what Classical Conversations is all about. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment below. I would love to help you on your journey. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.